so now uh, we have ranger kms installed and uh, we can log into the ranger uh, kms same uh, ranger url so 6080 is the port we can use the same port and uh, this is the machine where ranger kms is running so uh, so instead of other admin admin so here just use key admin and then uh, key admin so this is the user which we use for login to ranger kms so you can see uh, two option like access manager and encryption so you can create the keys from this uh, web url okay so go to the uh, encryption just select key manager then uh, select the service so you, this is your cluster name followed by kms okay and uh, that option i mean this option will be highlighted at that time so if you have not selected this one so this one be okay so you have to select this cluster name first and then add the key so key name uh, you can use like any any name so i'm just using secret underscore hdp1 so this is my key name and i am choosing everything default and you can uh, write something in the description and save right so now i have created a key so secret underscore http1 right so now i can go to the access manager and control the permission on the key so by default you can see all key for all the keys there is some permission set if you just edit that you can see the name policy name is all key and the key name is dot star so that means ev for every key in the system and uh, set the permission like key admin has almost everything and hdfs has get metadata and generate eek right uh, so i'm leaving uh, for key admin as it is for hdfs i'm just deleting so i'll, I'll just show you how this works right so now we have the key uh, okay so hadoop uh, so go to hdfs hadoop list keys so it, it is a hadoop a key list and uh, cannot the list and it is saying hdfs is not having get keys permission so we can just add that permission because uh, if, if i just add only this specific to this uh, uh, a secret http1 then it will be able to list that suppose if i add in that everything list like so then uh, it, it can uh, see like every uh, see get keys the center save now if i type hadoop key list uh, sorry i think uh, i need to change that generate eek and get metadata also i think that is also needed yes uh, this time it is showing that key name secret underscore http1 so you can just get more information by typing metadata so this is like a length description when it is created and uh, all those details so now uh, i'm going to uh, okay so i have some users like uh, uh, one is ap user okay so n a user so these are the two users in my system and these are the users at the unix level and my uh, ranger is not integrated with uh, any of the active directory or ldap so it is using unix user at this time so these are the two users and as hdfs user or super user i'm uh, creating a directory 
hdfs dfs hyphen mkdf slash secure underscore data one and uh, I'm going to create uh, an encryption on this directory using uh, this key okay so I am using this option HDFS crypto then create zone a key name and uh, here I need my key name is this one secret underscore HDP one and this is the path right enter so it has some issues so let me troubleshoot that I think it's because I have not added decrypt EE case. Let me try this with adding that option. Yes. Now I'm able to uh, create an encryption zone on this directory with this key. Right. So this is the key. And uh, now, uh, see if I try to upload something okay say for example HDFS DFS iPhone put slash etc host this file I'm just uploading to here so it, it is failing why because uh, maybe it is not having a proper uh, permission so this one doesn't have decrypt underscore eek permission on this secret key right so here in the resource voice policies then go to this one I'll let me add a new uh, policy so policy name is something like uh, for this key whatever the key secret h1 underscore policy and the key name is this is the key and uh, you can add the user like uh, for uh, who whoever wants the access say for example if I use Ambari uh, or AP user okay, so if I give AP user to the permission like uh, decrypt like then AP user would be able to access the zones which is on by that right so let me uh, switch to ap user then hdfs dfs iphone put slash etc host okay uh, See, this is because of uh, this permission issue like uh, okay so let me uh, change the permission so hdfs dfs iphone ch mod triple seven to this so if i try with hdfs hdfs dfs okay so let me uh, again log into that user then if I try this one I'm able to upload this actually this is an encrypted uh, zone and I'm uploading and also let me uh, try that HDFS DFS iPhone cat host so I'm able to read that so let me switch to another user So even though this user also have the uh, access on this because we have seven triple uh, we have given triple seven permission so let me try that from here from na user see this na user is not able to read why because he is not having access on this key so let's uh, try with another user hdfs and uh, try whether hdfs can read so that is also not able to read so no one is able to uh, uh, view the content also no one is able to uh, write it in that directory so whoever is having that access okay so we can just add access to the other user also like uh, na user 
is the another user and we will just use the decrypt access to that then save it so now uh, if I change to na user and execute this command so it should work for this user yes he is able to read that also uh, he is able to write also let me uh, just touch test one dot txt so hello world so hdfs dfs iphone put right so let me add it here so he's able to write also uh, sorry not host this this one would be enough right so whoever is having the key so again so we can control uh, that key uh, who, who, who all can access like, like if i add hdfs here okay then uh, the hdfs also would be able to access that right so this time so this user also got mm, decrypt e key the user hdfs is not allowed okay so let me So now uh, let's try it again. So decrypt is not allowed. Okay, so it's saying uh, HDFS is not allowed. Okay, so let me uh, check that and I will, I will try, uh, try to uh, troubleshoot that later. So, okay, um, yeah, so that's it uh, about the um, access. Uh, controlling so first go to the encryption and create the key and from the access manager then create the uh, policy and uh, for each queue who all are can access and there are different uh, permissions like uh, so create delete rollover uh, etc so you have to go through each one in the documentation so for normal read and write so decrypt would be enough so i hope uh, so you are clear on this so uh, if you have any uh, questions so please use the command box to uh, write your questions i will try to answer that later thank you bye